I am Pranamal Gadre from Great 12 and I'm here to speak about Richard Branson's travel to space. Now, why did I choose this topic? Well, I chose this topic because I was fascinated by the feat achieved by him and the marvel of science that helped him achieve this feat. So, who is this Richard Branson? Well, of course, all of you must have heard about his one day trip to space, but let me give you a short background info on Richard Branson. Sir Richard Charles Nicholas Branson, born 18 July 1950, is an English businessman, investor and an author. In the 1970s, he founded the Virgin Group, which today controls more than 400 companies in various fields. He was the first person to go to space aboard his own winged rocket ship. It isn't an easy task to go to space and come back to Earth within the same day. Can you believe that? I stay 8 kilometers away from the school and it's a 40 minute drive by car. My hometown is Mumbai and it is a 2 hour journey by flight from Coimbatore. So a one day trip to space, incredible isn't it? The nearly 71 year old Branson and his team of 5 crewmates from his Virgin Galactic Space Tourism Company reached an altitude of about 53 miles 88 kilometers over the New Mexico desert enough to experience about 3 to 4 minutes of weightlessness and see the curvature of the earth and then glided back safely to our runway landing. On 11th of July 2021, the Virgin Galactic Unity, Unity 22 took off from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. A twin fuselage aircraft with Unity, which carried the six crew members attached underneath, took off in the first stage of the flight. Unity then detached itself from the mothership at an altitude of about 8.5 miles or 13 kilometers and reached a speed which was more than Mach 3 or three times the speed of sound as it pierced the edge of space. Mind-blowing speed! For all of us until now, tourism was all about trotting the globe. But looks like the tourism industry is planning some out-of-the-world experiences, quite literally. So maybe in the next decade, we will be able to travel to space as they travel to different cities on an everyday basis. And maybe in the next 10 years, a general conversation between friends would be, Hey, where did you go in your summer vacations? Oh, I went to the outer space. That day isn't very far off. Thank you.